King Charles breaks silence for first time since cancer diagnosis with public apology. The king has released his first public statement since learning of his cancer diagnosis earlier this week. King Charles has released his first public statement since learning of his shock cancer diagnosis earlier this week. The 75-year-old monarch offered the people of Grenada his congratulations and warmest good wishes on the anniversary of the country's independence, while he continues to recover from his cancer treatment, as well as his prostate operation last week. Charles has started treatment, and has cancelled frontline royal duties on the advice of doctors. The announcement of his cancer diagnosis, which shocked even those closest to the firm, came just over a week after he underwent a corrective procedure for an enlarged prostate. It is unknown when King Charles will return to full-time royal duties, but he has still found time to release a message to the people of Grenada despite his ongoing health struggles. The full statement to the people of Grenada, an island in the Caribbean which King Charles himself visited five years ago, read, Over these past five decades, I have watched with the deepest admiration as you have built your nation and forged Grenada's distinct place in the world, and as an essential member of our Commonwealth family. Together, you have established Grenada as an exemplar of democracy, human rights and the rule of law. Together, you have risen to the most critical challenges of climate change and biodiversity loss by offering the world an example of leadership, resilience and innovation. Together, you have given life to the words of your national anthem, Aspire, Build, Advance. The statement, signed by King Charles, continued, My wife and I hold such special memories of our visit to your beautiful Spice Island five years ago, and of the warm and touching welcome you extended to us. Then, as whenever I have met Grenadians anywhere in the world, I was struck by your resilience, the strength of your community and by your shared determination to make a positive difference. In this Grenadian spirit you can take the greatest pride. Whether through the remarkable contributions of Grenada's artists, musicians and authors, or the triumphs of your athletes, all of whom have enjoyed such extraordinary success, 473 to the world is an inspiration to us all. I can only say how sorry I am that I cannot be with you in person to mark this momentous milestone, and to enjoy a little oil down with you all. My thoughts are with everyone across Grenada, Carasu, and Petty Martinique, and all those in the Grenadian diaspora, one people, one family, as you celebrate everything you have achieved and all that your future holds. My family join me in sending our heartfelt congratulations to you all, it comes as Kate, the Princess of Wales continues to recover from abdominal surgery after spending 14 days at the London Clinic, leaving Prince Edward, Princess Anne, Queen Camilla and Prince William carrying out the bulk of royal duties and engagements. Meanwhile Prince Harry has just left the UK after racing to Clarence House to see his father after learning of his health news. He reportedly had a 45-minute meeting with his father which royal sources claim resulted in a cause for optimism. The Duke of Sussex mad dash over the Atlantic cost around £18,000 in flights, according to research.